Hey, welcome back for another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be shooting a cartridge a lot of people have been waiting for, the 4570, specifically the Cellier and Bellet 405 grain soft point. And we're going to be shooting those out of one of the new Ruger made Marlin 1895 trappers. We'll be taking three shots from 50 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. All right, let's shoot it. All right, so I'm down here at the gel blocks after shooting those 405 grain cellier and bellets out of the 4570, and some really interesting things happened. So first I wanna show you, I'm coming up and we made three good hits. Um, I mean, it's kind of hard to get it dead center, but three good hits. And what happened was, so I don't show this in the video because the video would wind up being 20 minutes long, but after every shot, I walk down to the blocks and realign them because usually they're not aligned anymore after you make a hit on them. So the first time I walked down to the blocks, I looked and I knew I made a good hit. There was no bullet to be found. And I had stacked three blocks end to end knowing that, hey, it's a 4570, it's a 405 grain soft point. We might get some serious penetration and that's exactly what happened. So for that first shot, I had three blocks stacked in the end and these blocks are about 15 and a half inches long. So that's over 45 inches of gel didn't capture the first bullet it zinged through all three blocks so that tells me hey we're probably not getting very much expansion if any here so i went ahead and added a fourth block and we're going to take a look at that now there's a deer right there in the road you see her <laughs> i'm going to include this in the video i was wondering when i was going to see one i hadn't seen one yet uh yesterday or today there she is right there She'll probably stand there for two minutes looking at me, so I'm gonna cut it right here. There we go, I walked down and tried to get a little closer. You can see the neighbor's truck over there. There she goes. Well, that was cool. I guess they don't mind the shooting too much. All right, enough screwing around with deer. So here's the blocks that I lined up for the shots. Coming on back, we did capture what I thought was just one bullet, but there is the second bullet, second or third, I don't know which one. So we got two of them. And I've got the tape measure set up to measure penetration depth and we'll come on over and take a look. So this bullet right here is right at 51 and a half inches. If you count the front of the bullet, we're right at about 52 inches. And then I went ahead and pulled that one out right there, but it was right in this little crack and it was 48 inches. And we'll take a look at this bullet real quick. Of course, we'll take a closer look here in a minute, but we are getting basically no expansion. So I'll go ahead and dig that other one out and we'll take a look at them. And let's take a look at those velocities. <clears throat> Get set up here. So the high was 1402 feet per second. The low was 1378. And the average was 1390. And here we're looking at those cellular and bellet 405 grain soft points out of the 4570. First, we'll talk about weight retention. We got an average weight retention of 398.5 grains, and respectively, they were 398 and 399 grains for a 98% weight retention. And next, we'll talk about expansion. The average expanded diameter was 0.514 inches, and that was 0.495 and 0.532 inches respectively for a 1.1x expansion, so almost no expansion. And now we'll go ahead and talk about velocity. The high velocity was 1,402 feet per second. The low was 1,378 for an average velocity of 1,390 feet per second versus the build velocity of 1,509 feet per second. So these were going a bit slow, 119 feet per second slow on average. But we have to remember that I'm shooting these out of a Marlin 1895 Trapper with a barrel that's just a hair over 16 inches. So we're definitely going to lose a little bit there. And we did get a pretty tight spread of 24 feet per second. 
Now we'll talk about penetration. Our average penetration was extremely deep. We got 49 and three quarter inches of penetration on average, and respectively we saw 51 and a half inches and 48 inches. So this is a very, very deep penetrating load, and no doubt that is due to the extremely high weight retention and the almost non-existent expansion. Final thoughts on that 405 grain soft point cellular and billet load out of the 4570. We had extremely high weight retention, almost no expansion. Velocity was fine considering it was out of a 16 inch barrel. Uh, penetration was what you might even call over penetration for the kind of load that it is. Personally, when I think of a 405 grain soft point out of a 4570, I'm thinking I'm gonna get some mushrooming, at least a little bit, and not so much penetration. This acted more like a solid. It just plowed right on through. So all in all, what would I use this ammo for if it were just, just for me, in my opinion? Practice. I would use this ammo as a practice load if I wanted to hunt something that needed penetration and I didn't want really stiff punishing recoil this could be an option but for me at least this is sort of a practice 4570 load hey if you enjoy these videos check out my website masonleather.com and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you i've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade and i would love to make you something the link is in the video description and check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests